here. Marsh with Mesa RC Foam Fighters. I got the newest addition to our team is Colton. He's a seventh grader. Uh, we had a couple spots open up in our Mesa team and he was a perfect candidate to fill it in. Um, everyone's uh, been making standard uh, playing kits and stuff and he decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and create my own. So Colton, why don't you go ahead and talk about your, your newest addition to the Scratchable family. Um, as you can see, it's just a giant RC paper airplane. I was just, I got bored one day and I was building a paper airplane and I was wondering if I could make this fly remote, remote control -y. Cool. So as you see, we got, we don't know if the motor's going to be big enough, but this is just a test trial for right now. He's got an uh, elevator in the back, and then on the bottom here on the side, he's got his motor. We don't know about the battery yet, so we're going to have to probably move this up or down. Um, we have to figure out the CG, but he's got a little rudder in the back. And we're going to go and test this out in the gym. It's way too windy outside. It's like 40 mile an hour wind. So we're going to go and test out. Hopefully the motor's strong enough for this big old platform. If not, then we'll throw a bigger bigger motor around. But, um, you know, for his first uh, week in here in Mesa, he already made a plane um, set to go. So he's looking for some more builds to come out of this guy. He's got a, a bright future in this scratch build hobby. So want to go in the gym and test it out? Yep. All right, let's do it. Batteries. Well, there's battery. Didn't want to bring tape. All right. No, we didn't bring any tape. All right. Where's cold neck? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll fix this thing back up, mm -hmm. and then we'll um, we'll take it outside because yeah. it's obviously too too fast for in here, and it's too big of a board to not have bigger stuff on there. So we'll we'll have it go outside, and maybe we'll. Uh, Get different controllers so we can trim down some of the rates because it is a little uh, out of control. Um, and then we'll also cut a little battery tray. I think our CG is okay, so we'll we'll put a little slit in here and we'll throw the battery in there so it's a lot more secure. Um, but other than that, it's kind of a cool creation. We'll just have to keep messing around with it. Here in the park with uh, Colton and his paper airplane. Um, the first video that you guys saw was the first attempts in the gym and it didn't work very well. Um, so he went back to the drawing board and told the viewers what you ended up doing and hoping that it worked. At first we just took it out there, out here without the stabilizer and it was just out of control. Then Mr. Marshall just said to put some stabilizers on it and, and see if she's going to work. Yeah, I mean from our early glide test with the stabilizers it seemed like it was, you know, it seemed like it was under control and now it's just hoping that Stabilizers will do it. It still looks like a paper airplane, though. Yeah. Does yeah. it still look like one? Fold yeah. up the size like a paper airplane. Yeah, fold up the size. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So once again, very light movements.
Set, go. Down on your throttle a little bit. There you go. And if you think it's too fast. Or you know what it looks like too? The Death Star. Oh. No, no, no. Is it the Death Star or just the Death Ship? What is it? So it's like the Tide No, like the really big ships besides the big old globe. We need help or what? Death Ship. The, the Star Destroyers. I got it. The Death Star is the big planet. The Star Destroyer, that's what it is. Good job, man. It's all cold. I'm not doing I haven't done anything for like the last two minutes. Are you calling? So what'd you think, man? Good job. That was awesome. Don't worry. So that stabilizer's definitely worked. Yeah. I mean, it still is a little squirrely, but um, for the most part, that was. Sweet. You got a good plan there. I think what we'll do is, um, do you want to make these some plans so that we can give out to people? Sure. I mean, it's so easy. It's just one big, big board here, and then you got the. It takes two of the small ones because I got a big one. You got a big one at. Okay, so big board at Hobby Lobby, but we could probably just. Yeah. Didn't have. He's got a about a two inch rudder on the back here. Or sorry, elevator. And he's got his little oh, over here. Cool, so we definitely have ourselves a new trainer. Good job, Colton. Thanks for watching, guys.